In the previous lecture, we introduced the concept of the electric dipole and we defined what an electric dipole moment is. So now we're going to look at the following example that will deal with electric dipole moments. So let's suppose the electric dipole moment of a certain diatomic molecule is given to be 5 times 10 to the negative 30 coulombs multiplied by meter. So if we now take our molecule and place it into our uniform electric field perpendicularly with respect to the electric field lines, in part A calculate the net torque on the molecule as a result of this electric field and in part B find the maximum potential energy that can be stored inside our electric dipole as a result of that electric field. So let's suppose the electric field is constant and it's given by this magnitude 1.0 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. So initially we take our dipole molecule and we place it into our field as shown so that this angle with respect to the x-axis is 90 degrees. So we want to calculate the net torque in part A. Now, in the previous lecture, we were able to show that the net torque is equal to the product of the electric dipole moment and the electric field multiplied by the sine of this angle theta. So we have our electric dipole moment P, which is given to be this quantity, our electric field is given to be this quantity, and our angle initially is 90 degrees. So we plug our values in, sine of 90 is 1, so we simply multiply these two quantities and we get 5.0 times 10 to the negative 24 newtons multiplied by meter is the net torque. Now let's move on to part B. Find the maximum potential energy that can be transferred into our electric dipole as a result of the work done by the electric field on our electric dipole. So, recall that in the previous lecture we showed that the potential energy U is equal to negative P multiplied by E multiplied by the cosine of the angle theta. Now, we also said that our potential energy is maximum when our cosine of the angle theta is equal to negative 1. Because when this is equal to negative 1, this will be a positive value. At that moment, all that work has gone into potential energy of our dipole molecule. So, that means the potential max or the potential energy maximum is equal to negative P multiplied by E multiplied by cosine of the angle 180. So, an angle of 180 degrees simply means that our electric dipole moment vector is anti-parallel with respect to our electric field. So, we plug in our P, which is once again this quantity. We plug in our E, which is this quantity. And cosine of the angle 180 is negative 1. So this becomes a positive and we're left with 5 times 10 to the negative 24 joules of energy. So this is the maximum amount of potential energy that can be stored in such a molecule within the following field as a result of the work that is done by the electric field on our dipole molecule.